Welcome. You're listening to the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast, creatively engineered by Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist. I'm Wired to Inspire is a powerfully packed five-minute podcast filled with inspiration and encouragement to get you through your day. It's designed to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Now stay tuned for your host, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist on today's episode of I'm Wired to Inspire. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today on my podcast. I really, really, really appreciate you guys showing up. I, it's an honor for me, guys. I don't even know who's listening, but just know God bless you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, and uh, this week is a special week. If you are just joining me, this is day four of a series God put on my heart called the Social Media Prayer Series. And in this series, it's created as a powerful five-day collection of prayers for social media influencers, entrepreneurs, and more. Day one, we talked about, we well, well, excuse me, we prayed for influencers and leaders. Day two, we prayed for visionaries and trailblazers. Yesterday, which was day three, we prayed for speakers and authors. Um, Each day is based on a scripture. And I urge you to go back and listen to all the other ones from the other days. And you can also uh, d- uh, download those. You can keep those as well. You can email them to people, text them to people. You can share it if you like. Because, in you know, some of these things, some people just have one of the professions. They just may be an entrepreneur. Or they just may have started a startup or, you know, something like that. So whichever one applies. And then there's several people. Th- every day applies, like myself. Every day applies to what's going on for my life and for my career, my purpose, passion, all of these things. And as you know, um, and you, well, you may not know, but the calling on my life is to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. But it's not that I just inspire you to live your authentic pur- purpose. I also am here to impart. And once we impart, it makes an impact because I can inspire you and it can fizzle away. But I like to to use my platform that God has given me, excuse me, the platform that God has given me for him and his glory. I like to use that and always keep myself out of the equation because this is him guiding me. I'm not going to have, I'm not about to stunt on nobody and act like I'm all that and tell you this was me. This is God led, honey, because I don't know how I've been able to do what I've been able to do. But I know it's just the grace and mercy of the father to do it. And I know even with the the idea to do such a series, I never heard of anything like that. So I knew it was a God idea. So again, I do want you to go back and listen to the other days because I talk about binding your mind to God's creative genius and how he will give you things that you've never seen before because it's for his glory. And it's specifically for you for such a time as this. So I also want to encourage you guys with every series that I do. I have series coming up throughout the rest of the year, all the way through the last week in December. I want you to download the ebook. There's an ebook. It's free. It's you can get it and download it. You can once you make it a PDF, you can save it as JPEGs if you want. But you can totally get this ebook, guys. And if you're not able to listen to my podcast, you can totally just pull out the prayers. You know, if you're going to go into a meeting and you're an entrepreneur, you have a business need, just pull out the prayer, read the prayer before you go in the meeting, you know, um, save the podcast, save them in your phone and put, you know, the name of it on there. And then you may have to go into a meeting for something else. Just hit play, the, just fast forward to the prayer part and let me pray that pray with you. We can be in agreement right then and there, you know, because anything, you know, we can be in agreement with things that are in according to the perfect will of God. You know, we can't just be in agreement with everybody and praying with everybody. We want to do things where we know that they're on one accord with us. Um, I think it's, it's Amos 3 and 3. Uh, two can't be together unless they be agreed. I may have messed up a word or so, but I, I think you get what I'm saying. But you want to be in agreement with people. So make sure you download the ebook. Make sure you can download the podcast and please share it for me, guys. I really, really genuinely appreciate it. This is... I. I have, I never liked necessarily being a quote unquote salesman. So it's kind of hard when God has given me something to do and I have to kind of repeatedly 
give calls to action and share with people. So just know it's, that's not necessarily easy for me. It's easy for other people, but everybody has a shortcoming for me. I'm just getting out of it. I'm going to say it's a form of shortcoming that I had. So just being able to actually express it is big for me. So those of you who've even come on here, I appreciate that. I like to be transparent. You know, I'm not some figment of somebody's imagination. I'm a very real person. Um, I'm relatable and I want you to feel that comfort. I think another reason why God is raising me up in this area is because people don't feel relatable. When they, I'm sorry, they don't feel like they can relate to people in the body of, the, body of Christ because some people are just too stuffy. You know, just the religious spirits and people just feel like they cannot be themselves. You can be yourself, but God doesn't want you to just be traipsing around the world doing whatever you want. Then you get something and you nickname it Jesus. No, we're not okaying that. But I think God is providing this as a safe space for people who are really trying to come into their own and they're really trying to understand the Lord for themselves. You know, like y'all, if you listen to me at all, honey, you know, I will cook, you know, just you'll hear my little thick accent. I botch up my words and I'm, I'm repeating myself and okay. I mean, it is what it is. There was a time when I would just stop it and it would have to be perfect. And somebody who was a really good friend to me that I didn't really think was a friend because I wasn't around him a lot and I hardly talked to him, but this person pays so much attention to me and they watch everything that I do. And I wasn't necessarily aware of that. So when they came to me and they saw that I put out something that appeared inauthentic, it bothered them, bothered them enough to tell me about it. And that just meant everything to me. So I said all of that to say to you, it's because of having people like that in my life, even not even in my inner circle, but just somebody who peeps game and they, you know, they know that I'm a real person just so that person to point it out to me and say, Hey, listen, just be yourself, you know, just, just do you. It's okay. You know, if you got a hair out of place or whatever, just do you because that's the part that's going to touch the people. And it was nothing but God because my podcast was supposed to come out weeks before I had that conversation with them. And my podcast ended up coming out like the next week. And I had adopted that and I received that and he didn't know, but that was a confirmation for me because God had already revealed that to me and two other people had already said it to me. And I, and I'm telling y'all that because a lot of times God will be telling us stuff and he'll just send somebody else and he'll send somebody else. And then finally he'll send it from that person where he know you're going to listen and then it'll make you snap out of it. And then you're going to go on and get on the good foot because that's what he wants you to do anyway. So with that being said, I want to talk to you today about our prayer target and today's prayer target is one it's multiple professions that are very active on social media and uh, not on social media too. This is, this is one of the ones that people are now blowing up their businesses um, and their startups and they're presenting themselves as entrepreneurs on social media now more than ever. So that's what we're praying for today. Now, yesterday, I'm sorry, day before yesterday, when we were talking about uh, visionaries and trailblazers, day two, we were in Habakkuk, right? Well, Today, on day, day four, we're back in that same chapter, but today we're on a different verse. Today, for startups, entrepreneurs, and businesses, we're doing Habakkuk chapter two, verse two. That is, then the Lord answered and said, answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain on tablets that he may run who reads it. Perfect scripture for startups, businesses, and entrepreneurs. Y'all, we have to have a plan. You can't have no startup. You can't have, you can't be no entrepreneur and you can't be no business owner. Yes, I say you can't be, I'm in my Ebonic glory right now. <laughs> I'm in my, I'm spitting my Ebonic bars right now. Listen, honey, you can't do this unless you are a goal setter, a goal getter, a goal hustler, whatever you want to call it. You have to go and get it. You got to get it. And you have to do that by, writing out your vision and making it plain y'all listen to me i legit write everywhere y'all i have i have ink pen marks on my bed sheets and this has been since i was a child i have always written something always writing and logging my ideas now that i got this phone when this phone technology came out and they add that little notepad y'all my notepad is lit i'm constantly typing writing out my visions, making them plain, coming up with ideas. Y'all, y'all, 
my podcast many times. I get the ideas from my podcast. I log them bad boys right in my notes on my phone because I might be busy. I might be at a red light. Ooh, ooh, that's a good thought. Might be in a conversation with somebody. Ooh, I got to touch on that. Whatever the case may be, I try to make myself um, open and available so that I can always write those visions and make it plain. So let me tell you about writing a vision and make it plain. You're going to give it power. That is also why, again, I made the ebook for you guys because the prayers are written. So not only are we speaking those things that are not as though they were, not only uh, does the word say we have not because we ask not, we're asking in prayer. We're saying the things that are not as though they were. And we're writing the vision and making it plain. Y'all, we can't lose. We're doing everything God is telling us to do. Now, even though it might not play out the way we think, we still going to get what he says we're supposed to get. So don't get caught up in that either. Because God, you can be waiting and working hard as an entrepreneur right now. You're working hard in your startup trying to get um, funding and all of these different things. You're working hard in your business, you, you know, and, 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 and really trying to be the best entrepreneur you could be. And it just seems like nothing is happening because you're looking at it one way and God is looking at it another way. So you're looking at it like, I got to do it this way in order to get this outcome. But then God may come through the back door and say, nah, I'm not doing none of that. But here's what you asked me for. So don't, that's, you know what, that's a prophetic word. That's a word for somebody. Let me, hold on. Check this out. The father is saying very simply, some of you have been working on something for a while now. And you are wondering why it worked for somebody else, but it has yet to work for you. You know why? Because God may give you the same kind of mo- same amount of money they got. And God may give you a very similar structure to what they have. But guess what? He is not going to do it the way you think it's going to be done. So if any of you have yoked yourself with somebody, and you tried to adapt or adapt whatever their structure was. I'm telling you right now, God is trying to do another thing. So if you have to dismantle that thing and disconnect yourself from those people, you better do it. Because one thing I'm going to tell you for sure about God, he's always going to confirm a prophetic word and he's always going to confirm what he's saying to you. He's going to give it to you in spirit and in truth. So again, I tell y'all all all the time, test the spirits, test mine too. I know who sent me, but I want you to be comfortable in Christ. I am only a representative of Christ. And all I can do is give you my opinion if I feel like it, but I cannot not give you the word of God. I would be irresponsible doing that. This is my platform and I can tell you how I feel because that's what, it's my platform. I can do what I want to do on it, but I can only do what I want to do within the realm of being led by the father. So with that being said, don't take that word lightly because you need it. And if you don't listen, it could be to your detriment. So some of y'all have a little tiny unction, like a little red flag with somebody you're connected with with this thing. Please let me let you know. Don't let that thing turn into a big old ball of fire when it started out as a red flag. Go ahead and cut it now. You don't you don't need to burn your hand in the fire to know that the fire is going to burn your hand. You don't need to do that. So take it from me. There's somebody who's been having a little feeling and this confirming there's somebody Somebody already told them to disconnect from some people in business and they didn't, but this is the confirmation cuz I'm saying it again. Don't try God in that way. Meaning, I'm sorry, the Bible does say you can try God. That's not what I meant. What I mean is don't try to play God as if he's trying to play you. That's what I mean to say. So make sure you are very careful about that. And make sure you are very strategic about your business moves, especially on today's topic when we're dealing with with the business world. Because it's a very prosperous, lucrative, lucrative thing. But again, when you have your businesses and what you do out in social media, the enemy comes to steal, kill and destroy. And he's trying to assassinate what you're doing. So please be very mindful. All right. The hashtag for this series, guys, is hashtag SM prayer series for social media prayer series. Don't forget, download the ebook, catch up on the days that you miss. And now we are going to go into our prayer today for startups entrepreneurs, and businesses. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we come to you saying thank you. We ask the forgiveness of our sins so that we that we may continually please you in all that we do. Lord, we pray for the following prayer targets. Startups and businesses. Give us the courage to be calculated risk takers, 
divine creativity to develop epic company cultures, persistence, an ever-developing skill set, and the desire and ability to sell with fervor and surety. Lord, let us listen exceptionally well so that we may add value to our customers. Give us feedback and instructions on how to please you in our businesses and entrepreneurial endeavors. Teach us to develop strong relationships and leads so that our businesses may grow and prosper like you said in Ephesians 3.20. You said in your word that you will do exceedingly abundantly above, above, excuse me, exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. Teach us how to be transparent with our products and services on social media platforms. Father, let us thrive financially so that we may enhance our philanthropic efforts. Give us financial overflow so that we may pour back into your kingdom. Lord, we now want to pray over the prayer target for entrepreneurs. Thank you for self-discipline, integrity, a clear sense of direction, an enhanced desire to take consistent action and innovative leads. Give us the humility to ask for help when we need it. And the gift of discernment to recognize those sent to assassinate our call to the marketplace. Lord, Illuminate dream killers immediately. Expose anyone cloaked in insincerity, masquerading as support and help with a desire to throw us off in our business endeavors. Give us sweet, kind words as rebuttals for those who will try to tell us that we are making a mistake by taking a leap of faith. See us through, Father so that you can get all of the glory. Please remove everyone who was sent to kill, steal, and destroy us on this platform. Give us wisdom to handle our relationships, even the ones that we must sever, and there is no obvious reason why we should. Let us be sensitive to your unctions, and let us be led by the Holy Spirit in all that we do. We commit to your perfect will for our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Tomorrow is our last day of our of our um, series, and it's for coaches, trainers, specialists, and experts. So please make sure you tune back in tomorrow, guys. Please download, forward, like, share, subscribe. And guys, if you're listening to me on iTunes and you haven't yet, please go into the section of, at the top. And I have some instructions on that on my website. You can hit the link and it will explain to you how to like and subscribe on iTunes. But hit, give me a five-star rating if you really like it. Because the, the better the numbers are, it can be put out there to more people. And I would really, really, really appreciate that. Because the more people that can hear these prayers and they can get these blessings from the Father, the more prosperous they will be and the more soldiers we'll have in the kingdom. So, guys, thank you so much. God bless you. I truly and sincerely appreciate you. And y'all already know the drill. And if you don't, I'm going to tell it to you. I'm Wired to Inspire. I hope you are too. Thanks for listening to I'm Wired to Inspire podcast at I'mWiredToInspire.com. If you enjoyed the show, spread the word. And be sure to hit the five-star rating on iTunes. For more information on this podcast and inspirational products and services, log on to the inspiration specialist.life or I'm wired to inspire.com. And remember to live your authentic purpose. Thanks again and see you next time.